Nana Fadnavis also Fadanvis and Fernuwis and abbreviated as Fadni February 12, 1742 to March 13, 1800, born Balaji Janardhan Banu, was an influential minister and statesman of the Maratha Empire during the Peshwa administration in Pune, India. James Grant Duff states that he was called the Maratha Machiavelli by the Europeans. Early life. Balaji Janardhan Banu was born in a Chitpavan Brahmin family in Sitara in 1742 and was nicknamed Nana. His grandfather Balaji Mahadaji Banu had migrated from a village called Velas near Srivardhan during the days of the first Peshwa Balaji Viswanath Bhat. The Bhats and the Banus had family relations and a very good friendship existed between them. The two families had respectively inherited the Mahajan or village head positions of the towns of Velas and Srivardhan. Balaji Mahaji had once saved the Peshwa from a murderous plot by the Mughals. The Peshwa therefore recommended Chhatrapati Shahu to award the title of Fadnavis one of the Ashtapradan on Banu. Later, when the Peshwa became the de facto head of state, Fadnavis became the main minister who held key portfolios of administration and finance for the Maratha Empire during the Peshwa regime. Nana was the grandson of Balaji Mahaji Banu and had inherited his grandfather's name, keeping up with the tradition. The Peshwa treated him like family and extended to him the same facilities of education and diplomatic training as his sons, Vishvasrao, Madhavrao, and Narayanrao. He continued to be the Fadnavis, or the finance minister, for the Peshwa. Peshwa administration. In 1761, Nana escaped to Pune from the Third Battle of Panipat and rose to great heights, becoming a leading personage directing the affairs of the Maratha Confederacy, although he was never a soldier himself. This was a period of political instability as one Peshwa was rapidly succeeded by another, and there were many controversial transfers of power. Nana Fadnavis played a pivotal role in holding the Maratha Confederacy together in the midst of internal dissension and the growing power of the British East India Company. Nana's administrative, diplomatic, and financial skills brought prosperity to the Maratha Empire and his management of external affairs kept the Maratha Empire away from the thrust of the British East India Company. He displayed his best warfare skills in various battles won by Maratha forces against the Nizam of Hyderabad, Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan of Mysore, and the English army. After the assassination of Peshwa Narayan Rao in 1773, Nana Fadnavis managed the affairs of the state with the help of a 12-member Regency Council known as the Barbai Council. The council was Nana's mastermind plan to protect Madhav Rao II, son of Narayan Rao, born posthumously to Gangabai, the widow of Narayan Rao, from the Peshwa family's internal conflicts. The Barbai Council was an alliance of influential Sardars generals led by Nana. Other members of the council were Harapant Fadke, Maroba Fadni, Sakarambapu Bakal, Trimbakrayomama Peth, Mahaji Shind, Tukajirao Holkar, Faltankar, Bhagwanrao Pratinidi, Maloji Gorpade, Sardar Raste, and Babuji Naik. During this time, the Maratha Empire was significant in size with a number of vassal states under a treaty of protection who recognized the Peshwa as the supreme power. Nana died at Pune on 13 March, 1800. Following his desk, Peshwa Baji Rao II placed himself in the hands of the British, provoking the Second Anglo-Maratha War that began the breakup of the Maratha Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> Stately residence at Menavali Bhavan Rao Trimbak Pant Pratinidi of And and Raghunath Ganshiam Mantri of Sitara bestowed the village of Menavali upon Nana Fadnavis in December 1768. Nana Fadnavis settled the village and built a wada a mansion with inner courtyards, a ghat steps leading from the mansion to the Krishna River, and two temples, one dedicated to Lord Vishnu and another to Meneshwar Meneshvara Lord Shiva. The architectural combination of a wada type residence, a ghat on a waterbody, and a temple was typical of the Peshwa era. However, most of these palatial structures fell into disuse and disrepair after the lands and estates of the owners were taken away by the government after India became a republic in 1947. 
The Nana Fadnavis Wada on the bank of the river Krishna at Menavali is one of the very rare places where such a combination is preserved intact. The Nana Fadnavis Wada is a large structure with six quadrangles, or courtyards, and a perimeter protection wall. This construction of the complex was completed around 1780. After Nana Fadnavis died in 1800, the Peshwa Bajirao II confiscated the Wada. The British General Wellesley, brother of Lord Wellesley, Duke of Wellington, returned the property to Nana's wife Jiubai on the 25th of March 1804. After her death, Sir Bartle Frere, Governor of Bombay, handed over the property to Nana's descendants. The Nana Fadnavis Wada today remains with his descendants. Having split the major part of his properties between themselves, the Wada is still owned jointly by them all. Ghats, which were originally nothing more than simple stone steps descending into a river, evolved during the Peshwa era into an elaborate arrangement of terraces with separate areas for different activities such as bathing, washing, filling water, and performing religious rites. Temples were traditionally built on ghats. Nana, being the Peshwas, Fadnavis, transcribed and maintained their documents of accounts and administrative letters in the ancient Modi script. These documents, known as the famous Manavli Daptar, were preserved in the Wada at Menavali. There is a dark, musty, narrow, steep staircase concealed in the meter-thick wall, leading to the floor above. The staircase was once secret and easily secured, admitting only one person at a time into Nana Fadnavis's Darbar Hall. Nana Fadnavis's reception, Darbar, hall has an attached bedroom with a teakwood bedstead. The bedstead is an intricately carved four-poster. The floor is paved with clay and cow dung. Wadas are systems of open courtyards with increased security. Nana's corridors on the upper floor are lined with teakwood lattice work. A concealed escape stairway in the wall leads out of the wada. Descending the stone steps leads to the ghat on the river Krishna. On descending the steps and turning right, one sees a peaceful and rather drab view of Pandavgar in the distance. The bell house of the Meneshwar temple houses a 650 kg bell. This bell was captured by Bajirao I's brother Chamaji Appa from a cathedral in the Portuguese fort at Basain. Dating from 1707, the five alloy bell bears a bas relief of Mary carrying the infant Jesus Christ cast into it. An ancient tree with a massive coniform trunk has a platform constructed around it as old as the Wada itself. This tree featured in the Bollywood movie Swades. In the movie, the village elders hold a panchayat on the stone platform around this tree. Several Bollywood movies have been shot there, using the Wada as an exotic location, notably Yudh, Jackie Shroff, Tina Munam, Maridiudand, Madhuri Dixit, Gunj Yuthi Shane, Jis Desh Mine Ganga Reda Hain, Govinda, Gangajal, Ajay Devgan, Sarja, Ajinkya Deo, and Swades, Sharuk Khan, Gayatri Joshi. The film crew of the movie Swades once camped at the Ghat to shoot some footage. The crew cleaned and painted the old stone walls of the Ghat and the temples. <laughs> <laughs> External links Nana Fadni and the External Affairs of the Maratha Empire by Y. N. Diodar, Popular Book Depot, 1962